Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China, and today we're going to show you how to do mounted triangles. I had a question on YouTube recently saying, hey, how do I do a mounted triangle without giving up position when I roll to my back? And I'm going to tell you, you don't have to roll to your back. Let's go. So down to the mount position. I'm in a mount position. Got you down here. I want to get up into a high mount. Mount is multiple positions. It's not just this. Do not sit on the hips. You see what I'm doing there? Don't sit on him, ride him, right? Don't sit, ride. So there's space between my pelvis and him. I'm gonna do a, a mounted triangle from high mount. Another mount position, low mount. Another mount position, S mount, okay? So we're gonna start this from high mount. And there are a bunch of ways to set this up. If it's an MMA fight, I can start throwing punches. These hands will come up. I can use my body weight to trap an arm to the floor. And there are lots of ways to start passing that we work over there, turn to the side, and to finish, yeah, just wrench it sideways. We don't have to dip onto our back. We don't have to give him an unfair advantage by putting him on top and giving him top pressure. I know a lot of people think you do. A lot of people think you have to do a mounted triangle like this. Oh, come on top of me, Chi. And I've seen that happen. I mean, this does happen in fights, but now, she has an advantage here. If he's pinned on his back, I have all the leverage. He or he, he's got some leverage and he's got some weight and he's got possibilities to escape. I've increased his escape potential. So let's go back here to mount. And again, there are many ways to set this up. Sometimes people will try like a, um, going out the back door, like I'll lift up a leg and they'll stick their arms underneath and pull themselves through. And if you time that right, that can be a really good escape, right? But sometimes if they get one arm under fishing for that, I can close that off and work into that mount of try. This arm is really important to balance, right? If I get here, he's going to be bucking and squirming and fighting for his life to get up, right? Now I've got to make sure this arm is over here. I could finish with an arm bar like this. I could finish with a wrist lock like this. Or if I want to finish the show, it's hands that way, but I go grab his leg and tighten that up. Now, a couple of issues some people run into is how to articulate the legs, because you might try moving like this and feeling like, I'm not that flexible, what do I do? And this is usually what happens. They're trying to sit, first of all, and if you're sitting on him, one, he's going to buck you off, but two, uh, you're going to feel really inflexible and you'll be like, oh, my knee doesn't bend that way. Of course it doesn't because you're in the wrong position. We're going to start this by facing sideways, 90 degrees to the side rather than facing this way, right? 90 degrees to the side, okay? So if I turn this way, right, and I clear this arm, however I'm going to clear it, notice the position I'm facing this way. I'm going to pull this head up. Hold the crook of my knee under. I'm going to lean down this way. If you can see, my legs came off the ground, but I'm still on top. So every step of the way, here, chi, try to escape, buck, squirm, roll, whatever. And now I can lock up these legs right here. They're off the ground. And now I can twist and finish. All right? Chi, you want to give this a try? Now, Chi's right. not the most flexible guy. I'm a lot more flexible, but I'm 100% confident he can pull this off with the proper training. So take full mount here. Right? And you know, trap an arm however you want, like you're going for an Americana, and clear that. Now move to the side, right? Now balance. Yeah, lock those legs together. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Again, he's not a flexible guy. Not the most flexible guy, but look, he pulled that off simply by using those moves. Now, if I was going to shadow wrestle that, right? I'm here, I'm here, I pull up his head, I clear it, I roll over, look where my legs are up there, boop. I can lock up that triangle easy. One more time. Clear that. Get under. Lift up and balance here. This is a very strong way to balance. Lock that up and roll back on top and mount. Cinch it up. Circling. One more time just for kicks and giggles. Okay, again, there are many setups to this. If he reaches for anything, we clear that. Roll to the side, legs up there. Roll back on top, twist, and finish. Actually, one other thing you can do from here, I apologize, Chi, 
Mm -hmm. But if uh, something Eddie Bravo calls a slow triangle or the slow American, where you go for the Americana inside of a mounted triangle, it's a very powerful control position, right? Especially from the top. If this is an MMA fight, I would say the mounted triangle is probably the best top position that I can think of, other than, you know, strangling him unconscious from, say, a rear naked choke. And, and here's why. Again, let's start from the bottom. I love, I love triangle chokes a lot. And the most effective way to finish a triangle choke is not from the bottom. It's, it's where we see it the most. But again, he's got all this leverage. If I dip him over on his side, he's going to have a much harder time escaping. If I continue that sweep, I've got this mount position. It's not just great for submissions. It is the perfect ground and pound position. Your buck, escape, do what you want. His legs are doing nothing for him. He can't even do crazy legs on me. I've got undefended punches. I've got every upper body submission here. And yeah, even just sitting on him with trying to be nice. I mean, yeah. how, how did that feel? Desperate. Desperate. <laughs> yeah, that's a great word. Because you're, you're stuck on your shoulders. You're like this. You're just feeling stupid like nothing you do is working. And it's an extremely difficult position to escape from. So don't give up mount when you get the mounted triangle. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train. Hey fella, looks like you could use a rash guard. What for you say? Well, they protect your skin against matte born illnesses, matte burn, and they make you look incredibly cool. But where do I get a rash guard from? Hey, have you heard of xmarshall.com? Yeah, then what are you waiting for? Check them out right now. xmarshall.com has all kinds of rash guards, from sleek and simple, novelty, badass designs, and more. Channel your inner Japanese cartoon rat monster. Express your love for bad puns and kitty cats doing iconic jujitsu moves. Hey, that panda's gonna hit the other panda with a folding chair like a pro wrestler. And this one makes your right arm stand out. NogiBJJGear.com is now xmarshall.com, serving your needs beyond just Nogi Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Now, find brand new equipment for mixed martial arts, kickboxing, Muay Thai, wrestling, and more at xmarshall.com. As always, use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off everything on the website. Once again, that's xmarshall.com. Rash guards, spats, shorts, and more. Links and discount codes in the description below.